I think sometimes when it sounds too rehearsed or too memorized, it doesn't come across as very authentic. We ran into, we were just talking about it, we ended up making a story a couple times out of things we had no idea we were gonna make a story out of. We were in Thailand, ran into an ice cream man who had the most unusual ice cream truck sound. That became a two minute story because it was just such a silly conversation with this guy that we got to show that was part of their culture over there and it went along with the other things that we had intended to do which was Muay Thai boxing and elephant polo and, and the unusual sports we were already there to cover. But sometimes you just trip across things that you weren't thinking of in the first place. I mean, I think, you know, with the internet, the way it's exploded, you're seeing more and more sort of like the democratization of, the, of, of everything, where anyone can be their own broadcaster. You get a following and, and people kind of taking control, you know, of their own message. The Players Tribune, the new thing that, that Jeter started, where a lot of athletes are like, I'd rather just tell my own story than trust this writer to tell the story that I'm going to try to convey to him so or her. Um, but this gives them a voice in a different way and anybody and everybody I always tell like college students will ask you know how do you break in and what, what are the opportunities and I think they all have it better than I ever had because when I started there you know there were three networks and the, the channel that didn't come in very well on your TV and you had to bang the side of it and you didn't have nearly the same opportunity now anybody can be their own broadcaster if they have the talent and the drive to do so and go out and start covering something uh, in their local neighborhood and kind of build up your resume to it. But that, that goes for, for really all the fields. So, I mean, and what I cover mostly with the athletes, we're finding more and more of them taking control of their message and, and saying, I don't want to necessarily say yes to anything that I don't believe in and I can just run it myself.